I need you to support Gorm. Hmm. I cannot do that. My generals would never agree. Perhaps I could speak to your generals. I'll do my best. They must see reason. And I will show it to them one way or another. Greetings, warrior. What brings you here? I've come with a plan to bring peace to Mertana. <laughs> Why do you laugh? I will wear dresses the day Mertana sees peace. There is no hope for Mertana. I bring that hope. There have been others before you with the same noble intentions, warrior. Where are they now? We mustn't stop trying. You can keep trying. And in the meanwhile, I will have fathered several children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. <laughs> what is your plan, by the way? I am curious. First, we need to lend support to Gorn and give him protection. Gorn? A man more fit to be a court jester? Who are you, warrior? Speak, or your blood will water the ground where you stand. I am who I say I am. I am a warrior and I wish to bring peace to Mertana. This can be done if we support Gorn. If Mertana meant anything to you, you would shed your old hate and work with Gorn. Fool of a warrior! You ask us to fight alongside one who has no honor, who fights for no cause but for selfish gain. There can never be peace with Gorn. I would gladly slay my mother before lending my sword to that fool. If given the chance, I would have his head on a spear set in the middle of Mertana for all to curse! Control your tongue, Paladin. I'm getting tired of your venom. Control your thoughts, warrior, for they are going crazy. There were many before you, many who have tried the strangest schemes to bring peace but have failed. Even the most powerful have failed. And here you are with another scheme that defies all sound thought. Where is the warrior who killed Robar? Where is the warrior who slayed the undead dragon? Did his efforts amount to anything? Where is he now, this most powerful warrior? He stands before you. <coughs> what? It is I that killed Robar. It is I who slew the undead dragon. It is I that will have your head on a spear and set it in the middle of Mertana for all to curse. I... I... Paladin, you are a disgrace to this land. Forgive me, I... I did not know. I shall not waste my time any further. All I have to say is that change is certain. Be certain to change your attitude. Do I have your support now, Paladin? You do. Thank you. Goodbye. Why does Lee not intervene in the war? Lee will not take sides, so as to keep his people safe from the horrors of war. Blood is being shed. Shouldn't Lee reach out to Gorn or Thoris to end the war peacefully? It is up to Gorn and Thoris to solve their problems themselves. Should Lee intervene, he may be compelled to take sides and therefore be forced to go to war. He does not want that. I'm going to relax a little. Who do you think will win the ongoing war? Thoris should win. Why do you say that? It is preferable for my husband's trade. Have you seen the forces of Thoris? Yes, what a ghastly sight. So many orcs. Have you ever met Gorn in Gotham? Oh, 
Oh yes, once. He's very loud, and such terrible eating habits. What business does your husband have with Lee? No business. We just visit for a holiday. My lady. Take me to Faring now, and let's not waste time. Okay, I... Quickly now. Very well. Impossible. Here we are. My lady. Yes, I know this is faring. I wish to purchase booze. Take me to a good finest merchant. Place. Only the finest will do. Very well. My lady. Thank you. Let's move on. Very well. My lady. Enough chatter. I wish to purchase some Nordmarian armor.
my lady. Thank you. Let's move on. I wish to be back in Vanguard. Very well. Follow me. Here we are. Good. Very well. I shall be off. Friend, if the mission is important to you, why do you delay? The Paladins are with us. Excellent. How did you manage that? Let us talk about that later. Too much time has been lost due to your inaction. I know that, friend. Forgive me. You must prepare your troops now. I shall prepare my troops. There is a regiment in Vanguard which needs to be informed as well. Can you meet Captain Hans? I shall be off.
teach me something about ancient Still, magic. I, like I want to learn faster. Carry on like that. I don't think I want to hear this. Anything is possible. Grant me magic power. I don't have enough experience. Commence preparations for war. You are to gather your troops and bring them to Lee immediately. Very well, sir. Captain Hans will be getting his troops to you. You must make haste. I understand. We will need more than your troops. Have all your mages come with you as well. I shall go and meet my head mage. There is no time. Head for Gotha now. I will speak to the fire mage. What is his name? Emmanuel. Is he useful to us? He is very knowledgeable. He might be able to help us. Very well. I shall be off. Mage, we are at war. Lee, you will not need me at Gotha. What? What will happen today? Will happen. Nothing can change that. Mage, I do not have time for riddles. What do you mean? The outcome of the battle depends only on you. Not mine, nor Lee's presence can change anything. How do you know that? It is known among some of us that the one who fought against Zardas will be the one to change our destiny. For better 
or for worse. Which of you mages knows this? That is not relevant. What is, is that we will not choose to come in the way of what is written. Will you not choose to help us? We choose instead to allow the foretold happenings to take their natural course of action. Who has foretold these happenings? Zardas himself. If Zardas foretold this, then why wouldn't he say anything? The universe is larger than any one of us can behold and grasp. Zardas did not know everything, nor even the gods. Why do you believe that I have something to do with his disappearance? You of all people should know that Zardas was no ordinary man. Just standing near him would increase one's powers. When you fought Zardas, Remnants of his magical force scattered, fell upon you, and stayed upon you. I can see this energy emanate from you. Can I use this energy? It is not yours. Hence, you will never be able to use it. Why have I never felt that energy? Because it is like unto dust that clings to you but does not affect you in any way. Will this energy never leave me? No. It is like the evil deeds that one does. It lurks in the shadows, always and forever. Have I done wrong? Only time will tell. The results of your actions will only now bear fruit. Ask no more and leave. Gotha awaits you. You seem familiar, mage. Have we by chance crossed paths with each other in the past? We may have, but you may have chosen not to see me. I shall leave you now, mage. Follow me. Good. Stop! Not one step further. I need to meet Gorn. It's urgent. Lee and all his armies are at the gates of Gotha. Now, I have one more task for you. 
one of my spies in Trellis. His name is Osh, and he managed to infiltrate Thoris's administration. I need you to bring him back. Very well. I shall be off. Good. And be careful out there. I should be saying that to you. How will Osh know I've come from you? Tell him the following words. The woods of Gotha are lovely to behold, stained with the blood of warriors. I'm looking for Osh. Have you seen him? Many times. We were having dinner yesterday. He must be with Thoris. They're planning a big attack on Gorn. Thoris himself told me about it. Well, where he usually is. Give him my regards. Have you seen Osh? No, I haven't. I shudder to think what may have happened to him. He seems to be missing. Have you seen Thoris? I haven't seen Thoris today. He missed his usual inspection. I shudder to think what he may be up to. Make yourself useful, Mora. I must speak with Osh. Have you seen him? You may be too late. He was arrested when he woke up this morning. For what? For treachery. Spying for Gorn. They may kill him. Where have they taken him? To the prison camp on the outskirts of Trellis. Where is Thoris? Thoris left the city a while ago. I don't know where he was going. You'll have to move along. I need some peace and quiet. What do you want? I'm sure you've still got things to do. I need some peace and quiet. What do you want, Mora? You'll have to move along. If Mora makes me I need some peace and quiet. Stop! Not one step further! Why has Gorn initiated this battle with Thoris? No one knows. Does Gorn seek to take Trellis for his own? Goodness, no! Why then has he engaged Trellis in battle? Has Thoris been up to mischief? You will not speak of Thoris in this fashion ever again! Why are you so sure Gorn doesn't want Trellis? Gorn simply likes battle. That is all I meant. He fights to fight, not to conquer. Greetings, Hosh. What? Who are you? I've been sent by Gorn. How do I know you have come from Gorn? The woods of Gotha are lovely to behold. Stained with the blood of warriors. Ah, good. Here, this is evidence of Thoris's plans. Go immediately, and don't stop for anything. Wait. The 
few days ago, the orcs captured a fire mage and have kept him prisoner. I'm sure he may hold the key to Thoris's plans. Rescue him. Very well. Stop! Not one step further. One more step in that direction and you won't know what hit you. Stop! Not one step further! Here it says something about alchemy. Milton! It's you! Are you alright? Oh, I'm fine. But Thoris has the Eye of Enos. What? How? I've had it with me for a long time to keep it from getting into the wrong hands. Thoris found out, and that's why he brought me here. He wanted my help in corrupting it. Then let's get it back! Not now. They're already using it. I'll explain later. We need to get to Gorn and Lee and prepare for the horror that is to come. Very well then. Let's go. Stop! Not one step further. One more step in that direction and you won't know what hit you. Stop! Not one step further. One more step in that direction and you won't know what hit you. Milton, rest a while. You have come a long way. Thank you, my friend. I've got the Fire Mage. He's an old friend. What? Enos be praised. Let's be off now. Stop! Not one step further. 
One more step in that direction and you won't know what hit you. want to hear this. Mm, no, so I don't like it at all. I could have told you that. Stop it.
two months have been out. Right. Still, can't go on like this. We're keeping an eye on things. Here we are. What news do you have, Gorn? Why do you look so restless? Ah! Let's just make for Trellis and slay a few hundred orcs! I need information first, Gorn. What do you know about Thoris' plans? Oh, go ask Milton. He has a lot to say. Do you know where Thoris is? Thoris? He'll be wriggling under my foot soon. As soon as Milton tells us where he is. You ask him. I can't understand a single word he says. Time is short, and orcs are many. Can you tell us where I can find Thoris? He will be with his mage. What mages? Thoris has worked very hard on this. After taking the Eye of Enos from me, he made a pact with six very powerful mage. What do you know about them? Nothing much, except that their very bones are evil. One of them, the head mage, the summoner, controls the rest. Why does he need them? He needed evil hearts to corrupt the Eye of Enos. I was there just in case anything went wrong. But I'm sure he would have had me killed sooner or later. If he did that, I would have unleashed on him horror and fury that would have left him begging for death. What more can you tell me? Right now, the mages are using the Eye to summon what might be the most powerful beast in all of Mertana. Is there any way to destroy this beast? There's no way, unless you have the Eye of Enos with you. The beast will have been born out of the Eye. It can therefore be killed only by the Eye. You will have to first kill all the mages to get to the Eye. Well, that sounds like fun. Would you like to join me? Of course. Very well then. Let's go get it. One more thing. What is it? You can't take the eye with you once you have defeated the beast. Why? Why can't we keep it? We're not evil. We can use it to do good. The eye of Enos was never meant to be possessed by a human. It is too powerful. Power that one can't handle is power that will destroy. This may be our biggest battle yet, but I know one thing for sure. We must get to the beast. Where will it appear? A beast of this much strength, when summoned this way, will appear anywhere in Mertana. Will we know when it appears? No, we will not. The beast will appear in silence and in a state of sleep, and it will stay this way for a while. Why this state of sleep? While it sleeps, it will learn how to harness and use its power here in our world. How long will it sleep? The exact time will never be known because this depends on the skill and power of the mage summoning him. A beast of this power has never been summoned before. Will Thoris know where the beast will appear? No, no one will. What about the mages? Wouldn't they know where the beast would appear? No, even they wouldn't know the exact location. Why not? The beast is an enormous mass of power. This power, once summoned, will look for a place to settle and take root in our world by itself. No mage, no mortal will be powerful enough to control and guide this large a mass of energy. They will, however, know the most likely locations. Do you know these locations? No, but I do know that the summoner possesses a special map that may help. Get me the map, I'll point them out for you. Why don't we just force the answers out of them? That will never work. They will have cast a spell on themselves, a spell that will prevent them from revealing anything. Thoris has unleashed such evil, such death upon our land. He must be caught and made to suffer greatly for what he has done. He must die. Today. Follow me. so much that could happen.
Someday this will be over. Greetings, mage. You look troubled. What seems to be the problem? Ah, I've been expecting you. You may be the one. The peace in my head has been shaken from time to time by the beasts that wander these caves. It is what troubles me. A force that impedes my progress in the forging of new magic. Will you discontinue the time these beasts have in this land? You mean, kill them? Yes, and should you bring back the peace in this head of mine, you will be rewarded with a key to that which will benefit your time here in this land, and further your mission. Very well. I shall rid you of these beasts. Mage, I'm taking the eye. I enjoy the fire in your eyes, warrior. You have what Thoris doesn't have. No desire for power. No lust for power. That is what's important when you want to harness the energy of something as powerful as the Eye of Enos. What are you trying to say, mage? You will be able to do with the eye what Thoris will never be able to do even in his dreams. I can see the dreams in your eyes. The dreams that you have for Mirtana. What? Yes, I can also see that a small part of you wants the eye, but not in the way Thoris wants it. Like me, you too believe that the people of Mirtana cannot be left to make their own destiny. They need people like us to control them, to rein them in. Mage, I am getting tired of your chatter. Enough! I'm offering you to share the power of the eye with me. And why do I get this honor? I am yet to harness its full power. I know Thoris will kill me before that happens. You, on the other hand, are a man of honor, of trust, and of foresight. You will see the benefit of the both of us sharing this power. The power that will enable us to bring change to Mirtana in a way like never before. Think about it. Come on, warrior. Don't you want that power? Don't you want that change? Mage, the power of the eye is too much for any of us to handle. And did your dear friend Milton tell you that? A mage? Do you think he doesn't want it himself? That's enough, mage! I have decided! I'm taking the eye from you! I can see I've been wasting my time with you! Defend yourself, you pitiful fool! I will smash you to pieces!
Where is Thoris? He must have made his way to Trellis. I have the map. Show me where the beast is. Curses. There are several places marked. That means I will have to check each and every one of them. You are correct. We'll help you. We can split up. Wait, I have a few more questions. Do you think the mage summoned the beast successfully? Yes, all the signs point towards that. Do you have any inkling as to where it may have appeared? No. Since I wasn't part of the summoning, I wouldn't have the slightest indication. You've seen the summoner. How long do you think the beast will stay asleep? The summoner may have been very skillful, but this beast is the most powerful one ever summoned in the history of Mertana. How long the beast will be in this state of sleep, no one will know. Very well then. I think I need to search for the beast now. We'll come with you. No. You and Gorn must move to Vanguard. Why? Why can't we help you? Help me by keeping the capital safe. You must gather all possible forces for the biggest battle Mertana has ever seen. Certainly you'll need help with this beast. You need our help. I've been practicing, my friend. My battles with the Sleeper and the Undead Dragon have prepared me for this day. I am far more capable than anyone here to fight this beast. I need you all elsewhere. Go now, and meet me in Vanguard, in the throne room. beasts. The forces that seek to dismay you are several, but you will crush them under your palm. Here is a key to a chest, which contains a scroll, which contains the path to a new skill. Thank you. Make not any haste, for you will need two more keys. Where will I find them? With those that are called my brothers. Two of them seated around the lands of Faring and Gotha. Three keys for the one. Why so many keys? You may be the one, but the paths you will tread are many. Many paths make the one. Many paths make the one. How else will you?
You've done well. That Thoris has escaped angers me. We have failed you, my friend. Thoris shall meet his fate one day, and it will be horrible. You have protected Vanguard, our capital. That is good for now. We owe our successes to you. I can see how <laughs> have brought all of this about. I have proven unworthy as the caretaker of this land, and wish that you sit at the helm of Vanguard and lead us into the new future of Murtana. I ask you to be our king. Do you accept? I accept. You have my never-ending loyalty, King Rovar. Ascend to your throne. Well done, Milton. We failed. We failed to get Thoris. Oh, I have plans for Thoris, my friend. Do not fret. Murtana is in good hands now. And that is what matters most. It is the work of your hands, my friend. Murtana is safe because of you. There is still work to do. Still so much to do to bring change. You are the only one capable of taking Murtana in that direction. What do you mean? Only you had the dream for a united Murtana. Only you persevered like a true warrior for this, our homeland. It should therefore be you who should take charge of this land as ruler, as king. I understand. I do wish to be the one to usher in a new age of peace and progress in Murtana. I have seen this land being abused for too long, and it is time for change. A strong and permanent change. Will you be our king? Do you accept? I accept. King Robar, I am your loyal servant. The throne is yours. The beast has fallen. I missed it. And we didn't get Thoris. Never mind Thoris, Gorn. You were needed here, in Vanguard. You had to protect the capital. As for Thoris, we will deal with him soon. You're right once again. You're always right. Thank you, my friend. And now, it is time to move forward with our plans. Well, before that, I wish to pledge my allegiance to you. I couldn't have done this alone. And therefore, I wish to serve Mirtana under your guidance, with you as my leader, my king. Do you agree to be my king? I accept. King, I pledge my sword to you. Take your rightful place as king, son. I could do that. I'm sure you've still got things to do. There's so much that could happen. I don't think I want to hear this. I know. I have fought and shed blood for this land. I have overcome countless struggles to see a new Mertana, and I intend to preserve its glory forever. I intend to protect it forever. Change is now. I hereby claim Mertana as my own. I hereby proclaim myself as ruler of the new United Mertana. I am King Robar III, sole ruler of all Mertana.